Eight something with two boys from different parts of the country who are redefining child's play. NBC senior food correspondent Sam Cass is here with more. Sam, good to see you, man. So good to be here. These kids are turning hobby into profit, making entrepreneurship taste better than ever. It's big business at the hands of small CEOs. The thing I like being a CEO is I'm the boss. Running my own business is just really fun. Meet Jack Bonneau and Corey Nevis. Two tweens taking entrepreneurship off the playground and onto the masses. Hi, would you like some lemonade or iced tea? Three years ago, Jack started selling lemonade with one simple goal, a $400 Lego set. I asked my dad if I could get it. He said I could, but I would have to pay for it. So I was like, well, how am I going to make $400? And you can keep the change. Today, Jack's Thank stand has turned into much more. Over the past three years, my revenue has been about $30,000. $36. Employing more than 100 kids from the Denver area with three locations, with plans to expand to 10 by the summer. When a new kid would start, I would teach them how to greet the customer, how to make change, how to take credit card, how to track their sales, and what normal Palmer is. You always have to dress the part, so if you dress like in a suit and tie, people would most likely respect you more and do business with you. In Inglewood, New Jersey, 11-year-old Corey is baking up sales. Mr. Corey's Cookies is a cookie business that me and my mom run. I'm the CEO of the company, and my mom is the COO, and my cat is the board of director. Selling cookies door to door at bakeries, businesses, and farmers markets. We make more than a dozen types of cookies chocolate chip, sugar, oatmeal raisin, Madagascar. They're delicious cookies. They really are good. Thank you. They're very tasty. His tasty treats even caught the attention of Ellen DeGeneres in 2014. The biggest thing I learned so far is never give up and always treat your customers with respect and love them. While Corey says his earnings are classified information, he does hope to scale the business and one day offer his cookies across the country. To all the kids out there who want to start a business, always keep your eyes on the target and dream six impossible things in the morning before you wake up. Big advice for big dreams. My big dream is that I want to have at least 100 jack stands all over the country. I want to make Mr. Corey's Cookies in a multi-time trillion dollar company that gives back and helps the community. And giving back to local charities is the cornerstone of these kids' businesses. It's amazing. Yeah, they're awesome. And we are so lucky. we got Jack and Corey with us on the plaza. Fellas, good morning. Good All right, so Jack, tell me about this lemonade stand. How did you get the thing off the ground, and what do you want other kids to know who might be starting their own businesses? So I franchise lemonade stands so other kids can operate them. Um, I will teach them about entrepreneurship, business, financial literacy, and they'll have fun and make some money. And you're how old, sir? I'm 10 years old. Yes, you are. Awesome. Awesome. And Thank Corey, you. we can't wait to try these cookies, by the way, but what's Thank your you. secret of success? Uh, my secret of success is always keep your eye on the target, yes, and never give up. <laughs> I have to say, guys, Savannah, I want to hand you both our resumes because we're going to be working for you someday, both of you, both of you. These kids are the future. Corey, what would your advice be to other kids who want to do something like what you're doing? Um, I would say basically never give up yeah. and whatever you want to do and you always have to keep you always want to do that and don't get off don't do anything else and dress for success yes. i know that's what corey thank thinks yeah. guys congratulations awesome. keep up the good work sam thank, thank you. you jack corey thank sam you. thank you so much